Well, today is the 28th of February, and that's that apple wine that was supposed to be ready on the 21st day of the month. But as you can see, here we are a week later and it ain't done yet. But I'm pretty sure it was because I had it out here in my man cave where it don't stay real warm. So uh, as you can tell, I got a light on it now, warming those three bottles up. Not, they're, not getting, they're not getting hot. It's just they're not cold. And as you can see, it's still working. And if, if your wine is doing that right now, right there, it ain't time to drink it. You gotta wait till there ain't no bubbles. All right, we'll get on with the show here in just a second. Well, how y'all doing out there? You know, I would hate for someone to do something that I do on my videos and then something happened to their dog. And a lot of comments about, you, you know, are you, you're feeding bones to your dogs. You ain't supposed to do that. And all my life I've given dogs the chicken bones, you know. But I'm willing to listen. I'm not a teenager. I don't know everything. You know, you can't, you can't teach a teenager nothing. He knows it all. But I'm an old man, so I'm willing to learn anything. So I decided after, you know, somebody told me, I, I, uh, my comment was when they say, I didn't think he's supposed to feed them bones. I said, well, by God, tell that to the coyotes and the possums and the raccoons and the foxes and the feral dogs that steal chickens. And the response I got was, well, raw bones will crumble up. They won't splinter like cooked bones. So here's what I did. I've got, I got out a pack of, I got out a pack of chicken here, and here is a raw chicken leg. Here is some I baked in the oven, and this was simulating either baking in the oven or on a grill. Okay, like you out there having a picnic, and you're cooking on the grill. And then I've got my pressure cooker. So let's see what's what. I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna try to slice this meat away from the bone. Looks like somebody could do with a knife sharpening, huh? But we're just gonna get that meat away from there. I don't know what's caused this knife to get a bunch of jagged, jagged edges in it. Of course it might be because I'm not the one that uses it all the time, so I ain't gonna say anything out loud. All right, so here is a raw chicken bone. And I'm going to use these to simulate a dog biting into it, all right? Now, before I do this, I will tell you that the people I had rented from me had little old bitty ankle biter dogs. And when my mother-in-law would bring uh, chicken bones and stuff over for one of my dogs, the renters, little dogs, would get into it and they'd, they'd eat them cooked chicken bones off a rotisserie chicken and have to go to the vet. So I do know that about them little ankle biters, or at least hers. So here's a raw bone. Let's see what happens. All right. Now I cut right through it. I'm gonna take a pair of pliers to it. Now, the person that told me that raw bones wouldn't be jagged, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to argue with you. Because well, that right there is very sharp. So the people that say the raw bones is all right to give them, I've, I've just shown you right here that raw bones will shatter into sharp shards, okay? I'm gonna pause the video for just a moment because 
I want to wash my hands before I handle this chicken that I'll be eating. Give me just a second here. Well, all right, I got my hands clean. Now, so we've proven that at least raw chicken ain't killing coyotes and foxes and possums and feral dogs and all that because them raw bones are splinter just like people said that cooked bones will. Well, we're going to take this chicken leg right here. We'll pull all the meat off of it. I baked this in the oven at 450 degrees. This would be real typical of something that I would toss to my dog when I was eating. Okay? So let's see what it what it what it looks like here. Alright, I just broke that. That's got a bit of a sharp point to it right there. Get the pliers here. Try to get up here where you can see it. So you can get sharp shards right there out of cooked chicken bones. So people that tell you that them bones are split and could tear up a dog's stomach, they ain't lying to you. I guess that could happen. Alright. Now, y'all saw me on my pressure, pressure cooker video the other day giving my dog some bones. What I did is I cooked this chicken for about 15 minutes and then I uh, uh, turned, it, turned it off and I just let it cool natural. And there you see the bone, I mean the meat falling off the bone like I showed you the other day. All right. So this is 15 minutes of cooking. Let's see what this did for us. Cooking in a pressure cooker gives you soft bones here. See that? You can just crumble that up in your fingers. These are really soft. See, I'm just breaking that up. So, with a pressure cooker, your bones are a whole lot safer for your dogs. See that? Really soft. So, I don't hesitate to give dogs bones out of a pressure cooker. So, I guess what Pawpaw's been able to prove today is the people that say you shouldn't give chicken bones to a dog because of sharp bones are telling you the truth when it comes to raw and it comes to dry cooking or deep fried. But now when it comes to a pressure cooker, you, in my opinion, you can give them all the damn bones you want to, but that's just my opinion. And I'd like to show you one more thing. This ain't got nothing to do with chicken. This got something to do with a little garden. Now, a bunch of you out there are going to say, well, I already knew that. But there's some folks out there that don't know this. This right here is a dried up marigold flower. Okay? And what you may not know, and I didn't know until I learned, okay? So not everybody just naturally knows everything. But you take that right there, and you open up that flower, and there's hundreds of seeds in one flower head. 
All you need is one marigold flower head dried to have all the seeds you could possibly want. So look at all those. Those are just some I just shredded from from uh, the dried flower heads. No reason to buy any like I did the other day just to make that video. But there they are. Hundreds of them in one flower. So maybe you learned something there. Well, I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch my videos. I really do. It means a lot to me. And uh, I hope maybe we've put this, put this uh, urban legend or wives tale or whatever to bed with this demonstration. Especially for little dogs. But the uh, general consensus of opinion out there is you shouldn't feed your dog chicken bones because they're sharp and can cut their intestines or stomach. And uh, we've been able to see the results of crushing up a raw bone, crushing up a dry cooked bone, and mashing up a pressure cooked bone. So uh, take it for what it's worth. I don't know how much the acid in a dog's stomach will soften up these other bones. But uh, there's the demonstration. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, please share them with your friends. It would mean a whole lot to me. Help my channel grow. And folks, I ain't got but one thing to say, and that's have a wonderful day, and a better tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>